Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Becky, and today we're gonna to be working on a layout for one of the challenges at a cherry on top. This is the cut challenge for November 2019, in which you have to cut your papers within a certain, I don't know, they gave you the measurements for them. And on this one, there are only three papers that you need to use. And then your background has to be a solid piece of cardstock. In my, on my layout, I am going to be using white cardstock. I am going to be using the Mink Close to My Heart ink to ink the edges of my papers as well. If you can hear those birds, I am so sorry. I have taken to doing my voiceovers on my phone and right now I'm sitting outside. No birds. It is like, I don't know, it's pretty late at night. It's dark out. Yeah, one of the birds decided to fly over there and start chirping at night. Ridiculous. I think they're out to get me. I'm not really sure. I am going to go ahead and map my photo on some white cardstock. It's the same cardstock that I'm using for my background. It is the Close to My Heart White Daisy cardstock. I'm just going to go ahead and map this. I love this picture. And in fact, um, Friday night on Scrapbook Friday, I came home. In fact, I came home a, a few hours early. I think I left work maybe four hours early and I did do some scrapbooking. I got five pages done, maybe four, I can't remember. But this is the favorite, my favorite one I gotten done that night when I came home early from work. Sometimes you just really need a mental health day or a mental health half day. I usually try to do those days when um, Christina is having her secret not secret uh, scrap parties, but this day was not really one of those days. This was just uh, not the best week and I did, I was a little bit sick this week and I just came home early on a Friday and decided to play around with some scrapbooking stuff. I was playing around with some challenges over at a cherry on top. I have missed those challenges. It's really funny because I went over there and I'm like, well, it's been a while since I did those challenges and I started looking at my gallery and I didn't, I hadn't put anything up since like June or July. And then last month I did do a couple things toward the end of the month. But before then, I don't know why I fell off the challenge bandwagon over there. I really love doing those challenges. Anyway, right here I am going to be using the One Canoe 2. Now, my One Canoe 2, I have just in a collection by itself. So there are a couple different collections from one canoe two in here. Not a whole bunch. I don't have a whole bunch of them, but I don't really recall the names of all the ones I have. I just recently ordered uh, a couple kits from Christina over at a secret not secret kit club. And I did see she had, I actually, I just received the kits today and one of the kits does have some of the new Willow collection in them. Uh, in it. This, none of these layouts I'm doing right now have that collection because I haven't started using it yet. Like I said, I just received it today. These are older ones. Um, the collections I'm using right here are older One Canoe 2 collections. I love their collections though. This right here is going to serve as my title. It just says you're a peach. So with the cut challenge, you can just use the pattern papers that are from or what they tell you to cut. Everything else has to be embellishments. So that's why I'm kind of layering up all these flowers and bits and pieces like this. Now you can see up at the top of my photo, that's pretty blank there. And I have these very dark contrasting leaves in the flower down at the bottom right and then over at the top left. I am gonna go ahead and fix that here in just a minute. I'm going to be using a piece of ephemera. It's a big piece of ephemera and I think it has, I think it's a postcard. Right here are some puffy stickers also from One Canoe Two. Um, I think this might be the first collection that they had. I got several sheets of these flowers of the One Canoe Two. Here I just, um, am right there, there it is. There's the postcard. I needed some more dark color, right? So I am gonna tuck this in underneath there just so I can get myself a little bit more dark up at the top, but it wasn't quite long enough. So I am gonna have a gap between that leaf and also the postcard. I'm gonna use one of these die cuts, just stick it right in there to fill up that little gap. See how that little gap's there? Um, yeah, I couldn't, 
m well, if I moved it in further so there wasn't a gap, there would be no point to have it because it wouldn't be sticking out over on the right hand side. Right here I am taking some gold hearts off of this. This is the newest collection that I had at that time. And I took some gold hearts off of it. I will pull out the other collection, the sticker sheet from the other collection. And I think there is one more gold heart that I can put down. Here I took out the Heidi Swap Color Shine in gold. And I'm going to give that a splatter around the page. Just like that. All right, guys, after I do that, I am not going to do anything else to this layout. I want to thank you so much for joining me. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And check the description box down below for all the handy-dandy links. And I will see you next time. Bye, guys. Bye.